In this circuit, we're asked to determine the value of R2 here that will cause it so that the Q2, this transistor here, is biased right at the edge of the uh, saturation region. Right at the edge means that that's at the point where VDS, we'll write it over here, VDS is equal to VGS minus VT. And we're told that these two transistors are identical, which means that they have the same f uh, physical parameters. And um, we're also told that we can ignore the channel, um, channel length modulation or the early effect. And we're told that this is the same, that this is the same transistor as our previous one and as the previous example. And in that one, we determined that I sub D was 72 microamps and the resistor R was 13.9 kilo ohms. This structure is a pretty common structure in integrated circuit design. This is probably the closest we're going to see to something that is as close as we're going to find to an ideal current source. This structure is known as a current mirror. And as we'll see here in just a second, it's a current mirror because the current that is established in this transistor, given, a, given the VGS here and the VDS here, uh, will be the same current as the current flowing in this transistor, at least as long as we um, assume, the, as, as long as we can ignore the early effect. Because what that's assuming is that because VGS is the same here as here, because the gates are tied together and they're both grounded, that assuming uh, or neglecting the early effect, we can, neglecting the early effect, we then have a current flowing through here, which is independent of VDS. So these two transistors are going to be the same. They've got the same VGS, they have the same currents going through them, but as you can see, or as we will quickly see, the voltage at the drain in this one is going to be different than the voltage at the drain in this one. And in fact, they're asking us to determine the value of R here that will make it so that the voltage, or so that this transistor is just right on the edge of the triode saturation region boundary.